Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to episode 16 of Let's Make a Mod, and this time we're going to be focusing on smelting. Well, in our last code, Minecraft 1.2.5, our old smelting code is now dead and does not work. And I told you guys to remove your old smelting code for us to like update it later on in future videos, and this time we're going to be, you know, looking into this. So anyways, what we're going to do is make smelting. So if you guys ever wanted to take your gem and smelt it in a furnace and make it probably shiny, which we did in episode, I believe it was 8 smelting, I'm not sure. But in our old last smelting tutorial that I've done, I made a new gem called Shiny Gem. Alright, so I made a shiny shiny gem which you use a green gem in order to get yourself a shiny gem so I'm gonna be showing you guys two different things I'm gonna show you guys how to smelt items into items how to smelt blocks into items and how to smelt blocks into blocks so yeah it's gonna be like a three-step tutorial but anyways it's really easy if you guys are actually looking into smelting anything so it's actually ideal for food and all that stuff so if you want to smelt let's say pork chops if you made like a whole baloney of like different rainbow pork chops you could have like rainbow pork chop mod that'd be pretty cool anyways so what we're gonna do is uh, make sure that you have yourself a shiny green gem. If you guys are actually following along with me, you guys should have a shiny gem, which we actually added in, if you guys are following with me. And let me know if you guys are following my tutorials. Sorry about that, I got interrupted. But anyways, let's go ahead and add in a new smelting for our uh, gems. So what we're going to do is under the public void load, you're just going to scroll down here. You can make a section anywhere you like. So I'm probably just going to make it up here at the very top. And what I'm going to do is in the public void load, where you add in all the mod loader coding and all that stuff, I'm just going to put two slashes, and I'm going to spell uh, smelting. So this is going to be the smelting section right here. Let me put two slashes, and what I like to do is just make myself like a big border. So there we go. This is the smelting section right here. So I'm going to add in the code right here. So in my description, I'm going to supply the source. So you just get the source code, and what you're going to do is you're just going to highlight and copy all of the source code in my description and you're just gonna paste it right into your Eclipse so control V and you'll paste everything right in there so what you're gonna do now is uh, I put two slashes so you can see what these codes mean so this first code this first line of code means if smelting item to item and this second line of code is smelting blocks to blocks so what we're gonna do is in the items I'm gonna make my green gem turn into my shiny gem so what you need to do is get the name of your gem. So my gem is called Green Gem, and the other gem is called Shiny Gem. So I have added it in earlier, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to modloader.at smelting and the name of the item. Alright, so I'm going to name this one Green Gem, so I'm going to highlight this and just replace it with Green Gem. That is the actual name of it. So if I would happen to smelt a Green Gem, and of course shifted index, meaning item, and if you look over here uh, in the block section, it's called Block ID, that's for blocks. So if I would happen to put in a green gem in the furnace, I'm going to get myself one of these new item stack of what is it? What am I going to get from that? So I'm going to put in shiny, I think that's how I, yeah, shiny gem. So I'm going to get me one shiny gem. Either I could get two, I could get one, I could get a hundred. So I could get a hundred shiny gems if I would smelt that once, but I think you'll probably end up crashing your game. So just stick with one or five or whatever you like to do. If let's say if you smelt one pork chop, you're going to get one pork chop. Uh, unless you get something else so well then that that's your mod anyways this new float right here this new line of code this means how much exp you're gonna get are you gonna get like a, I don't know how to explain it but uh one is a good amount that's like normal exp so how about we just raise this up to five we're gonna get like a five five percent a lot of exp when we actually use the furnace if you if you want to keep it at default you could just leave it at one but we're just gonna leave it at five let's see how much exp I'm gonna get after smelting that at a five so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to work on the smelting blocks to blocks. Now I don't have that much blocks, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to add in a block from Minecraft. Now I'm going to just going to spell block dot and let's go ahead and, and look at a block. Let's put bedrock. So if I would happen to smell a bedrock block, I would get myself a let's see right here you smelt block. I'm going to get myself a let's see what what blocks I have. I have food. No, that's not a block. I have a, I don't even have blocks, do I? Oh, a green block. I'm just going to add in a green block, which is my ore. So I'm going to get me a green block right after I happen to smelt myself some bedrock. So after I smelt bedrock, there we go, green block. So if you want to copy and paste this, you can. You can just copy and paste this several times. You could just make a hundred, hundred smelting recipes if you like. So now I'm going to show you how to smelt items, uh, blocks into items, may I say. 
So if I happen to smelt me, let's just choose another block. Block dot dirt. If I smelt a block dot dirt, I'm gonna get me a. Um, what item should I use? A donut. Why not? If I smelt that, I'm gonna get a donut. So food zero one. So if I happen to smelt me a dirt, I get me some of my food that I made earlier. And let's just leave that all at default. And once you have done that, you're basically done. You're done with smelting. It's actually very easy. All you do is just this one line of code and you could define everything. So it's actually very easy. Just make sure you have yourself the items defined and everything else. But uh, if you want to make a mod that you smelt dirt into like food, then that's actually a pretty weird mod. Um, not sure if anyone's really going to like that. It's going to be, it's really weird. Just to let you know. So I'm going to go into my world and let's go ahead and start smelting our items that we have made. So I'm in creative mode and I, I could pull out like a furnace somewhere. If I could find where the furnaces are, at. they're right here. So I'm going to get materials. I'm going to get me some coal and now let's get ourselves a dirt a green gem so let me scroll down here we have ourselves a green gem and here's my shiny gem which is going to be smelted and a bedrock let's go ahead and get ourselves one bedrock and where do we get ourselves bedrocks come on better oh there we go all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to place down this furnace and i'm just going to open this up place some coal and a dirt and let's see what we're going to get from the dirt we should be able to get ourselves one donut uh if I coded that in correctly, it should be one donut, but I could add in five donuts if I really want to. And there we go, one donut. So from a dirt to a donut, that sounds great. <laughs> now let's put in a bedrock and see if I get myself my ore, which I have coded in. So yeah, uh, if you guys are actually following along with my coding series, go ahead and post a comment and let me know. Let me know if you guys are actually following along. So here is my ore and look how cool it looks. I, that's really cool. I like my ores. Anyways, what we're going to do is grab my green gem, put it into the smelting, and I should be able to get myself a uh, some EXP. Wait, where's my EXP? It should be able to spawn out EXP right after I happen to smelt. So let me grab this and see how much EXP I got. I didn't really get EXP from this furnace. So I'm not sure what's up with the whole like dealio of this, this furnace. It's not giving me EXP. Probably because I'm in creative, but that doesn't seem right. Um, earlier when I was coding this in, it should be able to give you XP with this right here. You just want, if you leave it at one, it's just default, but, uh, let's go ahead and change this to 100. No, actually let's just change it to 50 because I don't want to end up crashing anything. So I'm going to save and quit, exit that off. And I'm going to leave this at 50 and I'm just going to go ahead and save this. You could always save your projects up here. If you didn't already know that you just click this little save button and it'll save everything. And you just press play again and it should be able to work. Remember guys, if you guys have any, any errors, uh, while coding, Go ahead and check out my my help forums. I, it doesn't really matter if you go over there and spam me, you know. Uh, I'm still willing to help you out. So that's what I'm pretty much trying to say. If you have any issues, any problems, anything, just let me know, and that'll be really cool. I'll go and help you out, no matter what, buddies. You know, I got your back. Now, anyways, let's let me go ahead and get myself some green gems because uh, I didn't really code that in. But let me put in the green gem and see how this one will come out. Let me remove this donut, and what we're gonna do. We're going to wait for this to smell and see how much EXP I'm going to get from a 50. 50.0F. Alright, so I'm going to grab this and no EXP came out. So that's okay. No EXP didn't come out after all, but eventually it should be able to come out. Um, but anyways, that is basically it, guys. We have learned how to smelt things again, and we have ourselves our shiny gems, like always, and our donuts, and yeah. Anyways, guys, that is basically it. If you guys like my Let's Make a Mod series, go ahead and leave a rating before you leave. I really do appreciate it, all the links and the source that I've been giving out to you guys. I really do appreciate you guys following me and all that cool stuff. Next time, we're going to be focusing on a lot of other cool things. Trust me, guys. Eventually, I'm going to learn how to make mobs, and I'm going to show you guys how to make mobs. Once I learn how to make mobs, then I can make my John mod updated again. So anyways, I'll be looking forward to showing you guys a lot more cool things later on. Just just give me a second and I'll figure out everything. <laughs> Alright, so that is basically it. Thank you guys for rating, support, all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you. Oh yeah, guys, uh, I just figured it out. So right when I was editing this video, I just decided how about I just do this in survival mode and see if I could get EXP. And turns out you can. So check this out. I'm going to get some of this. And look, my EXP just got up right here. You can see that I gained some EXP. So check this out. You notice that it's like right here. If you look down here and I gather up this gem right here, it, this is going to increase. Ooh, there we go. I just gave me some EXP. So you have to do this in survival. Either way, it did work. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Uh, just be sure to be in survival mode when you gather up your uh, furnaces, items, and all that stuff. So you could, uh, you can see how much EXP you'll get for smelting. So anyways, that is it. I'm going to see you guys later.